Prepare for landing. Earth Day, December 24th. to tell your folks to vote for Honest John Thimbley. I won't. Life will be happy this time. Vote if you give Honest John Thimbley. Unfortunate happenity. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Help the unfortunate. How's it going, Sandy Joe? Not so fine, Peter. Well, Merry Christmas anyway. Help the unfortunate. Get to the unfortunate. The what are you, some dumbo? Get to the needy, sir. Merry Christmas, kids. Help the unfortunate. Hey, man, what do you mean, help the unfortunate? We are the unfortunate. Yeah, right on. Hey, come on, what do you want to Get to the unfortunate. Get to the It moved. It moved again. Look, everybody. Look at the light in the sky. I saw it move. Gee, Snurk. Excuse me. I just saw a spaceship up there. Uh, where? Up there in the sky. Can't you see it? Cute. Very cute. A light in the sky. Uh, isn't your mother calling you? But I saw it. It's up there. It is so there. Look. It's a spaceship. Hey, Peter. I see it. You do? Sure. It's throwing space balls at you. Better watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you guys. I really did see it. Sure you did, Peter. Sure. Look, Peter. I'm a Martian. You see? I'm green, and I'm going to eat you. And this is my flying saucer. <laughs> brum, brum. <laughs> what else do you see, Peter? Maybe Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer flying around with Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah, and I'm the good fairy. <laughs> <laughs>
Peter. That's Lucy. I live here. Over there. I... I guess you don't understand me. Do not be afraid, young man. That is not so. We are equipped to identify, comprehend, and speak all languages known. Hello, how do you do? I am fine. Oh, I'm fine too, I guess. Lucy? Our scientists have recently detected, 2,000 years ago Earth time, in the 79th Mervent, a transitory celestial phenomenon of the Merbundian class. Huh? What Plutox is trying to say is that in the heavens visible to many worlds, there appeared for a brief time a great star which manifests itself in the heavens. Oh, you must mean the star of Bethlehem. Star of Bethlehem? That has no meaning. Our mission is to search for the meaning of that star. You must mean Christmas. Did you come for Christmas? 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 What is Christmas? How do we measure it? You don't. The star that you saw shone over Bethlehem because Jesus Christ was born there. He was very special. This is his birthday. We celebrate it every year with love, peace, and caring for others. And that's Christmas. Then that is what we've come for. Well, come on. We'll show you. Mr. Bumble Store. He always puts Christmas in his window. Hey, George, did you hear about the alien invasion? Edna said a UFO landed outside of town. Oh, sure. Sounds like a publicity stunt to me. I'll bet it's that new store trying to steal my business. Some people will do anything. Yeah, George, I see what you mean. I'm Wow. Is this love, Peter? This is the town hall. Chief Snark and the mayor know all about Christmas. Hello. Don't tell me you want to report a space. That's the sixth call. Has everybody gone nuts? As mayor of this town, I say, I, I say, keep calm. Hello. Everybody. You've got little green men in your pantry. Just keep. Are you sure it's not bats in your belfry? Calm. How many men have you got on duty tonight? Just yours truly. I gave Barney and Herman the weekend off. It's uh, Christmas, you know. Is this Christmas, Peter? Christmas, Christmas! Call him back! Hey, no, no, better not. Don't want to start a panic. We better go check this out ourselves. Right! You go, I'll stay here. Yes, sir. Uh, if they come here... Uh... You come here? Why would they come here? Uh, right. I'll come with you. Is this peace, Peter? Hey, this sounds more like Christmas. <laughs> what are you having for Christmas dinner? Same as usual. Nothing. <laughs> Jeez, that's too bad. Like we're having a caviar and pheasant under glass. Yeah, and pâté de foie gras and roast goose and... Hang on. What did you say? Patty the four grand? No, no. Roast goose. I wouldn't mind having some of that. Is this caring for others? It's all right, Lucy. They're only kidding.
come to Christmas yet? Well, there's one more place I can take you. How's the tree coming, Martha? Ready, dear. Isn't that thing finished yet, Granny? Almost, Walter. Be patient. You don't have to make things anymore, Grandma. You buy them. You don't buy Christmas, Martha. Especially for children. Where is Peter, anyway? You don't think he went looking for that flying saucer thing, do you? Land sakes. Uh, flying saucers. Space folk. <laughs> what nonsense. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Guess what? We've got visitors for Christmas. There's strangers in town. Strangers? Tonight? Peter, I have told you a thousand times not to talk to strangers. Hello. How do you do? I am fine. Our mission is peaceful. We intend no harm. We are allowed only to observe. It's forbidden for us to interfere. We've come in search of the meaning of the Bethlehem star. But you don't understand. They came for Christmas. My, my. Men from Mars. Come in, come in. Come sit by the fireplace and warm yourselves. Oh, Peter, we'll need some more wood. Come on, Lucy. You two outside. Grandma. Tell them what Christmas was like in the old days. <laughs> oh, my. When I was a young girl, Christmas was the happiest time of the year for everyone. My father would search for a tree in the forest and bring it home to us. Land sakes, <laughs> it would touch the ceiling. We um, made all our decorations in those days, stringing popcorn, tying little red bows on the limbs of the tree. Oh, goodness gracious, it was so beautiful. You mean like this? Time rolls fast and time rolls slow. We had so much so long ago. So long ago when I... Stories told and old songs sung, the flames that lit the crackling wood, and smells of a bird tree fire and food. Each year it all returns to me the way that Christmas used to be. We always had a big silver star at the very top. Branches of fir were spread over the mantle of the fireplace. would spend days in the kitchen. Cakes and puddings, pies, ham and turkey. Enough for everyone. The way that Christmas used to be.
Christmas. We'd better hurry. I hope Galax Centro isn't monitoring this sector. Are you all right? Yes. We did it! You see? All you had to do was keep... Hello. How do you do? about him. He ought to be ashamed of himself stealing that goose. And on Christmas Eve, too. He ought to be in jail. That'll fix him. Throw away the key. That Wait. Trouble is there is something we do not understand. Why did he steal the goose? Because he's no good. Because he's mean. Clear through. Maybe it's because he was hungry. How could someone go hungry if this is Christmas? Because we were so busy thinking about ourselves. 
We never thought about other people. That is possible. You want to spend Christmas with us, Marvin? Hey, who are you kidding? No one, Marvin. We'd like very much for you to share our Christmas. We've got loads of extra turkey. We've we got can some bring. extra decorations. Well, Marvin, how about it? Sure you would. Right, Marv? Any more questions? No. I think we understand Christmas now. kids. Help the unfortunate. Where did the boys go? I'm sure I just saw them. Peter. Marvin. See what I see, we all can look to the stars. 